friends and fans paid their final respects to the rock and roll legend Chuck Berry on Sunday, celebrating the life and career of a man who inspired countless guitarists and bands. The celebration began with a public viewing at the pageant, a music club in Berry's hometown of Street, Louis where he often played. Hundreds of fans filed past Barry, whose beloved cherry red Gibson guitar was bolted to the inside of his coffin's lid. I am here, because Chuck Berry meant a lot to anybody who grew up on rock and roll, said Wendy Mason, who drove in from Kansas City, can, for the visitation. The music will live on forever. Another fan, Nick Air, brought his guitar with him from Nashville, Tennessee, so he could play Barry's Johnny B. Good while waiting in line outside, after the public viewing, family and friends packed the club for a private, funeral service and celebration of Barry, who inspired generations of musicians, from humble garage bands up to, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. The service was expected to include live music, and the relevant Alex I. Peterson told the gathering they would be celebrating Barry's live and rock and roll style. That sentiment was echoed Sunday by David Letterman's former band leader, Paul Schaffer, who spoke to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch outside the club. Anyone who plays rock and roll was inspired by him, 